Hello you guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Danielle if you're new here and welcome to a week in my life in New York City. I just got back from a breakfast meeting. I met up with the Dolce Vita team at Cafe Clooney in the West Village. It was so good and it's Monday. We have a full week ahead. I'm so excited to finally be back in the city in full swing. I've been traveling a lot so it feels good to like be back in a routine. Um, this week my goal, if you will, is wellness, breathing, um, just listening to my body and just doing good things for my body and not like over stressing myself out for no reason and just doing practices that help me relax because traveling a lot definitely is amazing but then also it kind of just, I don't know, it shakes up the system a little bit. So like I woke up this morning, I listened to like, uh, I think it's 432 hertz, like frequency for anti-anxiety drink my decaf cough, you know, like we're just getting there. But going to breakfast was actually really lovely and kind of put me in a really good mood. So today we're recording an episode of Gals on the Go podcast. Um, so I'm gonna change and Brooke will be here. We're gonna set up and record an episode. We upload new episodes every Wednesday. And yeah, that's usually like a Monday, a typical Monday is we're recording the podcast. So I don't know how much we'll be vlogging today, but I wanted to start the podcast now when I look like cute. This dress is from the brand Marie Oliver. My earrings are anthropology, so. But I am gonna change for the podcast. I think I am gonna wear a dress. I mean, I guess I could wear this, but it's just, it's not very podcasty, you know? Um, I think I'm just gonna wear like a more casual outfit. But welcome to the vlog, subscribe if you're new here. Now that I've eaten breakfast, I'm gonna take all my supplements for the day. <laughs> the other day my boyfriend was like, literally, what is all of that? And I'm like, you know what? Wellness, baby. Um, I take all kinds of things, like a women's health, like a women's multivitamin. Magnesium, ashwagandha, uh, like a probiotic. What else is in here? Oh, and then like broccoli sprout and like olive oil, olive something. I don't know. Those are two my, my dad was like, you should take these. I was like, okay. Um, oh, and vitamin D every other day. Um, but this is all based off of like suggestions that I that have been made to me by professionals. So everyone always asks, so I thought I'd tell you guys. Um, I have to take them in doses because there's so many. Oh my God. Oh, and elderberry I kind of swallow a lot of water though let's pick out an outfit for the podcast I'm going to Nantucket at the end of the month and I feel like this dress has to come with me I also thought about wearing this dress today but it was lightly raining and I was like we don't need a wet t-shirt contest happening you know Brooke said she's wearing like a striped dress so she's like wearing like a casual dress as well oh I can't if I wear stripes she'll literally kill me that's a lot of stripes I was like I have this striped dress I think I'm just gonna wear this dress. It's from Meshki. It's it's like years old. When I came to New York City to like tour apartments, I wore this one of the days. So I just have good memories with this dress. It's just like green, like I don't know, ribbed long dress. But I feel like it'd be cute with like necklaces. Okay, I think this is cute. It's super comfortable and it's like casual still. Wait, just kidding. I literally wore this dress the other day and it's so cute. And I think it would look really good on camera. So I'm actually gonna wear this. I'm clearly in a green mood today. Yeah, this is it. This is the moment. This is the outfit today. So this is the playlist I'm listening to right now. It's Spotify like made it for me. It's the anti-anxiety mix. And it's like these frequencies I'm talking to you guys about, but then also music that I tend to listen to that is more relaxing. They just like figured it out for me. Like these, like the Heart of Life of John Mayer, I listen to that all the time. They just like, like I love Post Malone. That's a little bit more of a chill song. Fake Smile, it's kind of random that it's in there. But overall, this playlist is randomly really good, and I love all the playlists that Spotify makes for me. I'm gonna light the candle to make it smell good. So when Brooke walks in, this is the Dairy Boy New England Summer Candle, and I love it. Also, when I woke up this morning, the first thing I did was fill out my Three Mile Daily. I designed this with the founder of Doing Well Day. This is my own. This is like the Danny in the City version. I designed one in college as well that was yellow. Um, this is the only way to start my day. Like I don't really use this on the weekends per se, but this side I just, like I write down my affirmations, my goals for the day, wellness, like what am I doing wellness wise? And then on this side I have like my calendar and then my to-do list. And then there's a quote every day that you trace. It's very <laughs> therapeutic. So that's what I did this morning. So in the wellness category this morning, I wrote down listen to frequencies like I am right now. No overexerting. I tend to overexert myself, especially on Mondays when Brooke and I record and then I'm like, out of breath and I just like just put too much and it's like you can be chill Danielle. <laughs> not every day but sometimes I just need to chill gratitude because I saw one of my friends Morgan Hale she posted on her Instagram like take a step 
back and realize that you're could potentially be in a place right now that you literally prayed for. Like I am so grateful. I have an amazing boyfriend. I have amazing friends. Oh, new song. I have amazing friends. I have an amazing community. I live in New York City. I've dreamed of living in my own New York City apartment for years. And sometimes when you get stressed or anxious, like it's valid to have those feelings, but gratitude can really help kind of bring you back to center. And it's a new tactic I've been trying. And it really worked for me this morning. I was like, Oh my god, I get to do this. I get to record my podcast with my best friend and it, it helps with anxiety for me. And then I also wrote, see yourself from younger Danny perspective. Like my therapist always talks about like your inner child and um, stuff like that. And like wh why would, you wouldn't treat young Danielle like that. You wouldn't talk about yourself like that to your younger self. And it, it really, really is so true. So yeah. Like I said, this week I'm focusing on wellness, so guess what? You guys are gonna have to too because you're watching this video. Also so random, but I've found, and I don't know if anyone else feels this way, that cleaning randomly makes me feel more relaxed. Um, sometimes if I'm just feeling a little anxious or just a little, I don't know, I don't know. I will get up and just start cleaning my apartment, especially if I'm like hungover or if I have the scaries. That's also really helpful, but because I'm just not a great meditator, I'm working on it. My mom's literally a yoga teacher, and yet I just can't meditate for the life of me. But I truly believe, and I was telling my mom this on the phone last night, that cleaning is my form of meditation, like doing laundry, folding clothes, making my bed, surface cleaner on my table. It gets my mind off of whatever might be on my mind and I'm thinking about cleaning. It's a clean space, this is my space. When my space is clean, I feel clean, I feel better. I feel less stressed because my apartment's not a mess. I don't know, something worth trying. I've like come to be obsessed with cleaning. There's certain things of cleaning like no one wants to do, but even like doing the dishes, I enjoy it. Like, I, I don't know, it just, kind of makes you happy that you're working towards this goal of creating a clean and happy space. I don't know, just sharing, okay? I'm gonna make myself a little beverage before Brooke gets here. This is the Moon Juice Magnesium. It um, also has, it's magnesium and then has L-theanine in it as well, which is amazing, natural. Um, it, you could take this, you know, every night before you go to sleep or like when it, it says one teaspoon of water every night or when you need to chill. And I don't know, I'm just like, Feeling like this will be good before I podcast. So one teaspoon, and it tastes good. It's like a berry flavor. If you know, you know. You if you watched my vlog where I tried to put this in cherry juice and it got all over my computer, <laughs> I'm just not gonna do that anymore because cherry juice literally is like red wine and it gets everywhere. So I'm just gonna try it with um, water instead. I think that is my journey. But this stuff tastes really good on its own, like without cherry juice. I love like a fun little cock uh, mocktail, should I say. Look how pretty and pink that is. Love me a glass straw. Like literally, Brooke's gonna be like, are you drinking Pepto-Bismol? <laughs> Cheers. Brooke's here. Coming. Hello. Look at this. Our outfits go together. I know. Sorry about the stuff in the hallway. Oh no, you're good. good. It smells so nice in here as always. Hello. Look how are you? Like yeah, no, together. I know. I like that. I, love I was that like, we're it's both such a gloomy them. day. I know, but we have to make it bright. Your hair looks know. good. Well, thanks. I, um, sorry. So cute. Yeah, I know. It's like dogs. Hello, me. Hello. Um, I uh, crimped it. I yeah, love it. Yeah. This episode went so well. You guys all need to go listen to Gals Make a Podcast if you don't. Like, I'm just so happy with the episode came out. It was so funny. It's five o'clock. This is gonna be my late lunch, early dinner. <laughs> I got El Antico Veneo this weekend. It's the most amazing sandwich. If you ever come to the city, you must go. It's literally a ginormous sandwich. This is only one half of it. I get the summer and it's prosciutto, mozzarella, tomato, and arugula. Actually, I hope this is still good. I don't know. But this will be my meal tonight. I'm so excited. Okay, just responded to some emails and eight. My friend Seb and I are gonna go for a walk. That's like one of our favorite things to do when like we haven't seen each other. Instead of like, going to dinner and making a whole thing. We just walk along the West Side Highway because we both live on the West Side and we both really enjoy it. So I just changed, I'm gonna like keep my makeup on because why not? Tank, oh, this lighting is so weird. Tank is Lululemon, leggings are Lululemon. These are my current walking sneakers because we're coming out of this room. 
because I have my foot inserts for them. They're Brooks sneakers. I also love Hoka's and other New Balance, whatever, but these are like my go-to walking shoes. They don't, they help like keep my arches up. Well, not the shoes. I have inserts for them. Anyways, whatever. I thought the gray tied in nicely with the gray tank top. And I'm actually, oh, God. So yeah, I'm gonna meet her on the highway and we're just gonna walk and talk so they can't walk and talk no more. I haven't seen her in like three weeks, so it'll be good to catch up with her. And this is like my workout of the day, so. Just Lululemon out today, this bag from Lululemon. I have this in black, but it's a smaller size. I kind of want to get this size in black because it's just like a little bigger. It's so perfect for walks. You can put your earbuds in here, your wallet, lip balm, sunglasses, like whatever you may need, which is really nice. Should I do these? I'm really excited to go for a walk. I also recently, Katie Bilotti sent this to me, putting hand sanitizer, some lip balm. She recently sent me the Blue Mind Theory and she was like, this is so you. Or she posted it, she didn't send it to me. She did not say this is so you. That's a me thing I'm saying. The Blue Mind Theory means that you feel in a meditative state when you're in or around water. And I really believe that to be true. Like. I always flock to the water if I'm stressed or I'm overwhelmed. Just being by the water makes me feel really good and just more free. I don't know how to explain it. Um, so I'm gonna try for, to go for a couple walks this week. Uh, so I'm happy to kind of get it all started. I kind of need a little bit of a refresh. So I'm gonna use this Caudalie facial spray. Just kind of like wakes me up, makes me feel good. Anyways, let's go for a little wellness walk and catch up with our friend. Walk was amazing. Literally, we had just such the best chat. I got some groceries. I went to Cinderella. Um, I think I was just missing the Hamptons because they have Cinderella in the Hamptons. I got some grapes. I was just craving some grapes. I got such random things. I got a cucumber. <laughs> Red pepper hummus to dip thy cucumber in. American cheese. And the goal is to also get ham or turkey. And I couldn't... I just couldn't find the ham or turkey. And honestly, I was lazy. So... So I've been liking to do like little roll-ups. So I'll put like ham and then put the uh, cheese on top and roll it. It's such a great snack. So I will be getting some meat for that. I was just like hot. So I was like, ooh, cantaloupe sounds nice. Two ginger shots. And then their chicken meatballs. I literally got them a few times in the Hamptons and they're such a good, like to have like a couple meatballs with like a veggie best meal ever so easy like protein and veggie boom done and they're so tasty i like want some of this cantaloupe right now really good walk i'm gonna shower i'm glad you work done Good morning everybody, it's Tuesday morning and I just had a nice morning to myself, filling out my doing well daily, writing down my goals for the day. We have a pretty um, packed day ahead, so it's 9.30, I'm gonna get a little Sculpt Society workout in. I wanted to go to the gym and do like a 30 minute incline walk, um, but you know, it just takes a minute to 
to get there and then come back and then I get distracted and I, I just have a lot to do today. So I put on this little set from Set Active and we're gonna do a Sculpt Society workout on my computer. How easy is that? Katie from Sculpt Society literally just posted this like two minutes ago. Um, it's a 30 minute full body. So I think that's calling my name. And this set from Set Active is so cute. It's like this random gloomy day out. So I feel like I just gotta bring some, some color to the day. So she said this class calls for um, little two or three pound weights. I don't have any, but I have, oh gosh, these ankle weights. So I'll just kind of hold them like that. Um, and then I do have the Sculpt Society sliders that she said you like put them on the ground and they slide. Um, and these literally are miserable. So I'm not thrilled. That's part of the workout, but it'll be good. And high. Weight in those heels. Thank you guys so much for joining. We did it. I had to change to this white top because this was a higher intensity workout and that other top wasn't working. <laughs> Well, don't I look crazy? I decided I want to do a hair mask, so I'm going to wet my hair. I know, yes, I just took a shower, but it's an afterthought. I'm having a weird day of random decisions. Vegamore Hydrate Deep Moisture Repair Mask. Peyton Sarton says this stuff is amazing, so I bought it. <laughs> uh, but I'm going to wet my hair. I literally bought this at, like, CVS, I think. Never used it. I'm going to dry bar and I like to have my hair washed before I go if I can because I prefer to use my products and I'm just, the spray bottle is not spraying correctly, but it's whatever. It's getting my hair wet, so that's fine. Um, so I thought I'd do a hair mask before my call. So during my call, I have the mask in and then I'll wash my hair again and then go to the dry bar and get my hair done because I have an event tonight and I'm going to a showroom and I just want to look put together and I have a ton of dry bar credits because I have a membership and I didn't use them really the last couple months so I have a ton built up that I've already paid for so it's perfect. Okay, that spray bottle sucked. I'm just gonna go to town then I'll just like put my hair in a bun of sorts. Um, wow, this actually smells amazing. Wellness. I, I can't lie, you guys. I'm having a funky day. I feel like maybe I should have just gone to Equinox and gone to the gym there. The Sculpt Society workout was awesome, but I think I just needed to leave my apartment for a second. I don't know. I'm starting to I'm just feeling funky. Sometimes that happens when I'm like at my apartment and I'm stressed about like I have lots of social interactions later and I literally don't even have social anxiety, but I'm like, it's hard to prepare yourself to be social. But then as soon as I'm there, I'm like, oh, this is like amazing. I love life. So, I don't know. I don't know. I think also living alone. I literally love living alone so much. But you get used to, you know, your own ways. And you don't have to really attend to anybody else. I don't know. But we got the mask in my hair now. All soaking in there. It's not even 11 a.m. and I'm like ready for lunch because I just had like an English muffin for breakfast. So I really might be crazy. Don't tell Brooke because I always make fun of her for eating lunch foods like before 12 p.m. But I really am about to have some meatballs. How crazy is that? <laughs> At 11 a.m. But I already had breakfast, so. But I wouldn't just go straight in, you know? Like I have to have breakfast foods first. Okay, we're in. Sometimes you just need to go to dry bar and get an iced coffee, you know? <laughs> I'm totally kidding, but it did really boost my mood. I talked about this in a vlog already, but I cannot get over this thermal printer I got on Amazon. I will have it linked below. It is literally so cool. You have to use specific linen paper, linen. <laughs> thermal paper and then you print it. It can't do color, um, but it literally just like does, like I got it to like print printing labels mainly. Like, this is seriously so cool. 
Like it's not ideal if you're like printing out 20 pages, but yeah, it printed out me a nice shipping label. So I think it's great. Or if you just need to print off something like you literally, I just plugged it into my computer and it gave me all the proper cords and adapters, which I was shocked about. I think it was like $30. I can't, I just can't really get over it. I can't seem to get over it. Makeup is done. I just put on some jeans and like this Skims tee. I'm about to go to a showroom actually, which I'm really pumped about. It's for La Pointe. Uh, they are inviting me into their showroom to, I think, give me some clothes, which I'm really excited about. Their clothing is very my style, like blazers, trousers, like utility pants, tiny top, baggy bottom. You guys know it's like my favorite go-to. Um, so I'm excited to see what they've got. I'm a little nervous. I don't know why. Um, but I think it's just because I've like not really socialized today. So now I have to. <laughs> but I'm excited. And then I'm going to come back, change pretty quickly, and go to Don Angie for a dinner with Skin Fix. So it feels good to like actually have makeup on and feel a little bit cuter than I was. But this is the fit. So I feel like I'm going to be trying things on. So I want to be comfortable. quick change this showroom was awesome and now I'm back and I just got a little bit extra ready for dinner tonight I'm so excited for some Donnie and G and I was texting Brooke I was like we were trying to figure out what we're wearing and I was gonna wear like more casual set it's a little it's actually not casual but anyways I have this dress from for love and lemons and I don't know when I'm gonna wear it so why don't we wear it tonight a little Italian dinner it's so cute. I'm wearing a size medium. I'm learning with For Love and Lemons. I'm having to size up, like in dresses. I'm a medium bottom, but usually I'm a small size dress. So keep that in mind, but I will have it linked below. Don't you be the shoes. And we're just wearing some bangles from Jenny Bird. These little colored rings are from Electric Picks. These earrings are also Jenny Bird. So I'm excited for some Italian food and I'm definitely Feeling like I'm in a better mood, out of my funk, because I'm actually socializing with people. And it's crazy what that can do for you. So let's go! Girls, we just took some oh, pics. <laughs> we got some arancini bowls, and we're about to get friendship rings. I finally changed the batteries on my lantern so they were on when I came inside. Brooke and I got friendship um, like welded bracelets or whatever. Never got one before so you don't take it off. I mean you can get it off. They told us how we can take it off but it just stays on and they like zapped it. Zap bracelets. That's what I was trying to think of. The food was literally so good. They sent like everything to the table which was so nice. I am like pooped though. Feeling good, um, and I'm just gonna get comfy. I think there's a new episode of In Just Like That on today, but I actually could be so wrong. And I'm in the mood to like watch TV. So I think I'm just gonna wind down and I'll just see you guys in the morning. <laughs>
everybody. Happy Wednesday. Had a busy morning, uploaded the podcast and my YouTube video, all that. Today's a day of me doing stuff that I've been procrastinating, like computer stuff that I just like really, just like banking, so like I just, ugh. But it's all good problems. Um, did a workout with my trainer. I've decided I'm in a funk this week. I've decided that's what this is. That's what the doctor called in. I, it's really nice doing training um, at once a week because she's kind of like my therapist too. I have a therapist, but she's kind of like my therapist. Um, and it's really nice because she's a really good sounding board. I just love Jane so much. Um, but I've just been feeling so funk and I can't really put my finger on it. I think, I, actually I can, like August, ever since I graduated has just been so weird. I think I've talked about this in every video that's in August, like, or I've talked about this last August as well. I think in a few years i'll get over this but i think my body my mind feels like it's august new beginnings i'm supposed to be like starting a new year of school i really think i feel like i'm supposed to be going back to school and usually august is like this really busy month it's new beginnings like pretty much every fall i've moved and this fall i i'm not moving so i think there's just a lot of that and my body like it's weird because august is definitely still summer but it's definitely slowing down I don't really know. I really don't know, but I'm just in a funk and I've decided that's what's happening, but I'm in a good mood. I don't know how to explain it. I'm just not very motivated this week and it's just very unlike me and I need to not be so hard on myself and just tell myself that it's okay to, you know, do that. But what's getting me through the day is Ryan and I are having a little date night tonight. Well, we're not going out. He's coming over here and we're going to make chicken fried rice because we did that once in college actually and it was so good. It was just a really good night. Um, and he was like, do you, do you wanna, can I come over tomorrow? We make chicken fried rice. And I was like, wait, that's actually so cute. And Only Murders in the B Building season, I think three came out. So we're gonna watch that. So it's getting me through. But um, we do need to get the groceries for that. So I'm gonna go grocery shopping. I also have nothing for lunch. So and I'm really hungry right now, which is not good to go grocery shopping hungry, but it's just what we're gonna have to do. I just had to rush home, showered, took a call, stuff about our podcast. And yeah, we'll go get some groceries and we'll come back and get some more work done. But I'm in a funk. Just cleared out my email inbox while watching Zoe 102 that just came out. It's a movie. I was a huge Zoe 101 fan, so I was like, let me just like see. It's on Paramount Plus. I did the free trial. Um, so bad. Like literally so bad. Literally so bad. I would never recommend it. However, I did enjoy. I got some closure on things I needed closure on. So, and I just like had it on while I was doing emails. So. Up to you. Did a little spruce up of my apartment. I mean, what's new? Set up all the stations. Ryan's on his way over. We're gonna start cooking. I went ahead and just chopped the green onion already, the scallions. Um, I bought pre-sliced onions, don't hate me. Peas, I'm kind of wondering if sweet peas were the move. They didn't have regular peas. So it's just gonna be a little sweet taste to it. And then I got some organic soy sauce. Um, like I said, we made this in college once before, so we literally just do fried rice. And then I'm setting it. And then I'm setting up the station, so we'll cook the chicken. Well, Ryan will cook the chicken. Um, and then rice. And then we put it all together. Simple as that. All right, got my country music here. Chicken master has arrived. I've already messed up, you guys. I clearly needed to pull out this bigger pot because we're like, the meal is rice. It's not like we're making a side of rice. And Ryan reminded me I could have gotten the peas and carrots in a can. That was so dumb because the carrots were bad. Ugh. My mom, vlogging my mom. Got the eggs on the, oh, okay. Okay, Ryan. Go off. Look at him, see, he knows. He knows what he's doing, what do I know? Amazing. All right, the peas, the onions, the rice, the chicken, the scallions, they're all joining forces. And the chicken, don't forget about yeah. the extra chicken. The extra, lots of chicken. Dinner is served. Yay, I chose spoon for this. It definitely could use some color. Like, where are the peas? We put them in early so they can Wait, where are the peas? They're in there. They're Did you? Oh. Darn. 
All right, it's time. Season three of Only Murders in the Building. Are you ready? I'm ready. Me too. curious I got up this morning I went for a really nice long hour-long walk got a green juice on the way back it was phenomenal today is very much a work day admin day going through PR all the stuff I wanted to film an Instagram reel today with like Sophia Richie Grange inspired outfits because I'm just I'm like every other bitch right now obsessed but the weather is not looking great and I was gonna film it outside so we shall see about that, but that is the day, but I feel amazing because I got up this morning. Just filling out my planner, responding to emails. Guys, the work I'm putting in for you right now, <laughs> I really wanted to film the Sophia Richie reel, and it's literally raining, um, but I've been filming it. Um, this is the third outfit, but I'm waiting. The rain was just getting a little too wet, and my linen pants got soaking wet. So we're taking a little pause. My birthday's next month and Exo Fetty sent me a ton of really cute stuff for my birthday. So I think I need to have some sort of like birthday pregame or something in my house. Like look at these, they're like juice boxes. Juice box. You know, you can put like alcohol in them. These cups, I love these cups. Shot glasses, which is so nice. My room's a little mess because I'm putting together outfits. But then also Love AJ sent me this necklace, which I think would look so beautiful. Um, paired with this necklace and then they also sent me where did I put them oh right under it these earrings and I'm I think it's so cute I love love AJ I will have these linked below I'm wearing this sweater right now from Jenny Kane it's literally so soft and comfortable uh, went to film the third outfit and it was literally pouring rain like like I tried to go outside um, and my feet were just so wet like it, it just I didn't even get 50 feet past my apartment so whatever it's gonna be a two outfit reel but i'm editing it right now i'm really happy with the vibes um but just talk to ryan we're gonna do a little casual dinner date we're gonna go to a friend in the west village um in like an hour i'm getting hungry right now and i just like i'm craving queso and apparently they have queso so i've been before but i don't remember if we got queso we were also like day drinking that day so i feel like i just don't remember it as well but I'm just gonna get a little more work done and then I'm gonna walk to be right better. I have worn approximately like 10 outfits today, but here's my outfit to go eat dinner because it's like raining, so I don't wanna wear anything cute. I just want it to be like black, so if it gets wet, you can't see. We're going to this place called Afrenda. This is the fit. <laughs> All right, so here's the queso, and the, you, they don't give you chips. This is not rated well in my books. Definitely. Ooh. Ryan's never had Magnolia Bakery. I was just craving a cupcake. So we're, <laughs> we just got some post dinner and Ryan's trying the... I know, it's so cute. I don't know why I got two. But, yum. Good morning, everybody. We have such a fun morning ahead. Fortunately, I'm not being real. We are going to the lady doctor today. 
nothing you know out of the ordinary it's just my yearly annual um and it's today can't put it off anymore it's happening um i just don't love doctors in general i just don't love going um i've just had like i don't know i haven't had like a terrible experience anywhere i had like one bad like blood test experience years ago and it stuck with me one thing about me things stick with me like if like something bad happens to me once, I'm like, it's gonna happen to me every time. Working through that in therapy. <laughs> but um, I am like weirdly not feeling that nervous. I mean, it's literally a good thing. I remind myself going to the doctor is a good thing. They're checking in on you and God forbid they find, you know, something. It just means that, where are my shoes? It just means that they're going to take care of you. Um, but I've also never, thankfully, been to the doctor and they've told me something really scary. So I have no reason to be fearful. And that's what I always tell myself as I put my foot inserts in my shoes. Um, so yeah, we're going to go and we're just going to go check in on the lady parts. You know what it more so is? It's just uncomfortable. Like when they put the thing up you and ugh. and yeah happy friday after that i my face is like my skin just feels icky i feel like from all the sunscreen this summer and just all the things i think my skin is just my skin's had it i really want a hydrofacial i've gotten them a few times and i just really believe in them they just suck all the gunk out of your face and your face literally feels and looks amazing so a part of me is considering rewarding myself with a hydrofacial afterwards if I can find a place that'll do it there's this place called everbody that I've gone to before and they did a really good job so I'm gonna see if they have any like last minute availability but it's Friday so I feel like they may not um I do like my gynecologist though because it's like in Soho like in the heart of Soho so it's really fun going and walking there. It's a good vibe. So we're just looking at the positives. I'm going to walk there. Um, and yeah, that was my little ramble. I ended up walking into Everbody, the one in Soho, and I was like, do you guys have a hydrofacial? And like today, because online it didn't say that they didn't, she was like, literally someone just canceled, so you never know if you walk in. Sometimes they're a little nicer to you. And my skin, she was like, your skin needed this so much. Like hydrofacial, they basically clean out your skin, and then, so they have like one, it's like suction, and it feels so good. It almost feels like a release of pressure. They're just suctioning out all the stuff from your pores. And then, and she did like other facial things. And then she goes in with the um, hyaluronic acid in the hydrofacial and just like puts it in your skin basically, for lack of a better word. And my skin feels amazing and I'm so glad I did that. And then on my way walk back, I went to Chipotle. It was fire. And now I just made myself an element. Of course, I just put it in my old water bottle. And I'm about to drink this. It's not even one o'clock yet, and I'm just gonna get a ton of work done. And then tonight, we're going to the Mets Braves game. I'm going with like 30 other people that went to Georgia, um, which will be really fun. I'm going with Ryan and some of our other friends. We will be rooting on the Braves, not the Mets. So that should be interesting, but um, I'm excited. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. I love you guys so much. If you live in New York City or you wanna come to New York City, December 16th, we're having a Gals on the Go live show. It's literally gonna be so much fun. What else? And subscribe if you guys are new here. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!